A dynamic group doesn't have preset members per se, but instead is pulled together at the time of an event based on pre-selected criteria. Let's take a look at how that works. You can use the search bar to find dynamic groups that contain the search term in their name or description. When you start typing, XMatters automatically updates the list to display items that contain the search term and highlights the portion of each item that matches the specific criteria. The available filters allow you to narrow the dynamic groups list based on matching specific criteria. To create a new dynamic group, click Add Group and then Dynamic Group. In the Criteria section, you can specify the search criteria you want to use to determine the members of this group. From the Properties drop-down list, select a search field and select the condition of the search. Type one or more values for the property. Click the Criteria column selections to update the search criteria. Or, if you want to add additional fields, click Add Criteria. A dynamic group's criteria are the rules used to determine the members for this group. Each time the group is targeted for the notification, XMatters populates the members list with the people who match these criteria at that time. Select all or any at the top of the search criteria to arrange the and or calculation across all fields and custom user property categories. Group members consist of users based on the specific search criteria. All members of the dynamic group who match the criteria at the time of an incident are notified simultaneously when targeted by a notification. If you want to create an additional dynamic group, select Add Another Group. To delete a dynamic group, select the checkbox next to the group's name you want to remove and then click Delete. If the deleted team is a member of any group, it is removed from their rosters and shifts. If you click on a dynamic group's name, you are taken to that group's interface page. This page uses two tabs that allow you to configure and manage your dynamic group. The Observer section displays the names for the first five roles that can target the group for notification. The People tab displays information about the search criteria, group admins, members, and observers of the dynamic group. The Members section of the People tab displays the name and status of the current users who will be notified if the group is targeted. When you click on the name of a user, XMatters displays their contact card with device details and group membership information. From the Options drop-down, you can update the team's name, description, and notification settings. The Observer section of the People tab displays the name of the roles that can see this group when searching for recipients and its target for notification. If any multi-select list custom user properties are configured for your company, select one or more values for a property to include it as a search criteria. To learn more about dynamic groups and sign up for a free XMatters trial, visit xmatters.com. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know down below in the comments. Have a great day.